G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. So I found a couple of interesting stories on the net that I thought I would share with everybody. So number one, Nexo and Chainlink launch joint collaboration to accelerate crypto adoption. As I've said in previous videos, adoption is the key to crypto really, you know, taking its place and, you know, overtaking the traditional financial systems that we currently have, particularly that mass adoption, that's really the key. But, you know, smaller things like this, anything that's going to help accelerate uh, adoption is definitely going to help. So Nexo have their uh, trading and lending platform. Uh, and what the, the collaboration is going to do is it's basically going to help uh, bridge, the, bridge the gap, sorry, between traditional uh, and digital finance. You know, we still have a traditional finance. It's not going anywhere just yet but digital finance is the future. So the collaboration between these two, basically what it's gonna do is in situations where Nexo loans uh, make some interest and the payments in are in a separate currency than what the loan uh, was denominated in, Chainlink would provide a reliable and transparent exchange rate for calculating uh, the interest payments. So again, anything that's gonna help accelerate crypto adoption uh, is great and Chainlink they're partnering up with just about anybody and it's showing in the price uh, of Chainlink. It just keeps going from strength to strength. But speaking of mass adoption, so what we can do over here is we can have a look at Sheila Warren. Now she's the head of blockchain at World Economic Forum. Uh, and she says that people who are excluded from traditional finance systems, i.e. the unbanked, they're really gonna help drive mass adoption. And I couldn't agree anymore. There's a number of places around the world, uh, specifically in the kind of emerging and uh, you know poorer countries is probably another way to put it. I don't like to say poor, but they don't have access to regular banks. But what pretty much everyone in the world has access to these days is mobile phones. And that is where that kind of banking system is really gonna start to explode, where people can't get to a physical bank, but they've all got their mobile phones and they're gonna be on there and yeah. I can't stress enough, adoption is the key and that is going to push prices of, you know, all the cryptos quite high, but, you know, the ones that aren't that good uh, technology-wise and don't have a good team behind them, they're going to fail. So we just need to be careful and make sure that we're getting in on the good ones. But, yeah, I agree. The unbanked, they will bring so much more to our industry and that is that mass adoption now, another story that I found really, really interesting uh, is Bitso. So Bitso is an exchange that uh, is backed by Ripple uh, and Coinbase. Now, this exchange hasn't been around for too long at all, but it uh, recently hit Argentina. And in the first six months uh, of making it uh, opening, I should say, in Argentina, it's got over 1 million users. Now, it's already uh, topped the Mexico market. Uh, and now it's gone to Argentina and it's yet to launch in Brazil. So Latin America is a massive market and Ripple have been doing a lot of work there with cross-border payments and things like that. And now obviously they've got together with Coinbase and they've opened up the Bitso exchange. So it's just more mass adoption. Uh, it is slowly but surely happening. Uh, you know, we're getting closer and closer to mass adoption. Uh, and yeah, wait till the prices really start to you know, get pushed up by that mass adoption. And last but not least, another interesting story that I found. So Binance, they have gone ahead and acquired uh, the crypto card issuer, Swipe. So uh, this is going to allow users the ability to uh, convert and spend crypto. Now this also goes along with the fact that uh, Binance introduced uh, 15 other fiat gateways uh, just recently. So there's another 15 different fiats that can now easily buy cryptocurrencies through Binance uh, and sell them and in the very near future you're going to be able to get a card where you can seamlessly pay uh, a retailer with your card that spends your cryptocurrency but it will pay them back in whatever fiat from wherever you are so again Anyone who's doubting cryptocurrencies and isn't sure if this is going to be around and last, they just have to open their eyes. It is already happening. It's right in front of them. It, it, it's here. It is happening. Now, not all crypto projects are going to last. Even I know that. But 
crypto is a legit thing. Anyone who says, oh, no, it's fake money, fake this, fake that, they just have no idea what they're talking about and they're just blind. They've basically got the blinkers on and they don't want to see what's coming. And that's fine. For those who uh, got their eyes open, you're going to be ahead of the game. Anyway, just a couple of quick updates from me. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. Uh, you know, hit that like button. It's going to get these videos out to see more people. Uh, and be a subscriber as well. Uh, I'd love to have you here. I make videos almost every day. I'm going to try for every day. Sometimes I might even make two in a day. Uh, I've got a full-time job, so I've got to keep doing that as well. Anyway, stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you made some gains. I'll see you next time. I'm out.